Hello ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls. And now we have another episode. Last time I managed to get my son to do one and I just heckled him from the background. Hopefully we'll get a few more from him. Today I'm going to do, it's part one, I don't know if I'm going to do how many I'm going to end up doing, of uh, Netherlands coins. These are all the coins I have from the rule of Queen Beatrix. And the coins feature her from 1982, I believe, to 2001, when they uh, started the Euro. Uh, these are all designed by... Oh, I can't remember his name, I'll look it up and tell you in a sec. Um, they're, they're quite plain coins, but we're going to go through these, and then I'm going to bag them up. And then in part two of however many parts it's going to end up, I'll do the coins from previous which I'm going to say now are, are far superior to these and I'll see you in a mo. Right, hello here we have the first coin it's 25 cents from 1989 now I believe these were all uh, designed both reverse and obverse by Bruno oh. Oh yeah, Bruno Van Aden Van Eben or something. I can't quite remember. Bruno Nina Bear. Bruno Nina Bear Van Aden. Alright, here we go. We start with 25 cents. Now these reverse and obverse were both designed by Bruno Van Bruno Nanina Burr Van Iben, I think. I'll put his name up so you can make your own decisions. The uh, My pronunciation is terrible, I am sorry. Now, I only know this stuff because I've you know, looked it up recently, although it could be argued I don't know it. The uh, As you can see, they're all designed. This is five cents from 1993. They're all very much the same. Another 25 cents from 1982. Now I'm not that keen on these coins. Here we have 5 cents. Quite a substantial coin and heavy for a relatively small amount of money. I don't like the way oh, there's a little 10 cents going from a rather large coin to a small coin 1996 there's not much detail I mean they're quite clear to read but the head the, there's no detail in there they, they could have done a lot more with the coin so there you go Nineteen ninety two and nothing, it's quite dull. And there's a lot of regions where there isn't actually much detail. Even a bit more detail in the face would have been nice. Although I suppose in your pocket it's very easy to identify what they were. Nineteen eighty seven and they are fairly unique. I I mean these these coins do stand out compared to the rest of the European coins of the time. 25 cents there. They do stand out. You, you can spot them a mile off. We have a slightly shinier 5 cents here. 1989. None of these are of any particular great value. Uh, they're all fairly recent. A lot of travel, I suppose, between us in the Netherlands 1988 so there's lots of coins we have a fairly shiny but a bit of patination there on the cover 1993 98 as opposed to this one 
is very dull and dirty. Oh, 1983, I think it's only 10 years older. So I'm going to try sticking all these in an envelope, well, not an envelope, a page. And here we go. This is the largest card I have, a two and a half. Um, all the way up. And her face seems to be upside down as well, because she's looking down. Perhaps orientating the coin that way would have been better. But then the writing's all sideways, so I don't know what the plan was. Year 2000. So I'll get these all in the page in the album. I'm going to... I've got quite a few from various states. I don't know how they'll fill out a page, though, so I might end up sticking them all on one page. Or perhaps over a couple of pages. There's another 25 cents. We have 25 cents here. See, they're all a bit dirty. I'll give them a quick wipe before putting them in the page. But I'm not going to bother seriously cleaning them or anything. I have... I have all these 10 cents as well. I'm not going to bother showing them all because you've... You've seen them. And apart from the dates changing on them, they're all very much the same, in very similar condition. An 84. There. Yeah. Something else. I have to get my magnifying glass out my eyes on what they were. They're all in very similar condition, and I, I don't see the point in showing them all to you individually. There we go. 1991. Five cents. So, as I said, I'm going to give it just a quick wipe, get the worst of the grease off, and then stick them in the page. And I'll see you all soon. Okay, and I've just given them a quick wipe over, and look at the dirt on that cloth. So, it's always worth giving them a wipe, just to get that surface dirt off. They, they look a bit better, and they'll last longer. Okay, now, I've put them in their pages. I've used uh, 42 for the 10 25 cent. They fit quite comfortably in pockets this small, and it means I better get a lot of them in. In the next section, or the next part, I'll be going through some older coins, so hopefully I will be filling out these pages, so there won't be so much wasted space. Same thing for the for this one. Now, as we start off with the five cent, but the one golden and the five golden also fit in this size pocket as well. And these are a 30 page pocket. That's five by six and four by five for 20 pages. I have one two and a half golden coin. The rest of it is empty. But there should be a few more, hopefully, fingers crossed, that we join this later on. So join me again in the next video, and I shall be going through the earlier coins. And then even perhaps the third part where I go through even earlier coins. And that both parts should be longer because I have more coins from those periods. So uh, hit the notification. You could notify yourself or just subscribe. And it will be up in the next couple of days. Or just remember what the channel's called. And I'll see you all later. Bye.